What's up, Foundation? It's early in the morning, man. I'm out here. Y'all see my other two little cats, man. Check this, my this my this my partner right here, though, too. Today. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. What you doing, baby? What you doing, baby? I'm a partner right there, y'all. That's my partner. That's my, that's my second. That's my second large one. I got one about three times bigger than him. I'm just out here kicking it, man. Been up early, man. I got up early, man. I need for y'all to do me a favor, man. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And hit that share, man. Y'all do that for your big partner, man. Y'all know it's the Foundation Nation, man. We here. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' kick this off. You can tell by uh by the title. Man, this is one that kind of hit near and near and dear to me right here, man. You know, I usually usually don't go into go into it a lot with my own boy. But anyway, I'ma do it this time. Uh, by my homeboy Crazy Ray. I know on the title it say my brother, but now you know he was a he was the closest thing to a brother I could ever have. He was uh, he was my he was he was all of it to me, man. He was he was my brother, my friend, my homeboy. He was he was he was the whole hookup. He was the whole hookup. And uh, you know, I lost him. You know, I don't, I don't have no uh, biological brothers. I'm a, I'm a only I'm a only boy. Just me and my two sisters, as far as uh, biological is concerned. But um, yeah, man, my homeboy Crazy Ray, man, that was my dog. That was my dog from the beginning to the end, from the rooter to the tutor, from the top to the bottom. You know what I'm saying, man? We did everything, man. We did we did it all, homie. I'm talking about from from. Catching cases, going to jail, you know, you know, just doing it. I mean, we did that thing. We did it, and I was hurt. I was hurt when uh, when he got when he got took from me. I was hurt bad. So I'm gonna get you know me and the homie we met, and we met years ago back in the '70s. I mean, we was little kids. Um. Me and his, me and his, his younger cousin was cool. At, was we was the ones that was cool at first. My homeboy Looney, you know what I'm saying. You know, Looney was from the set too. Looney Raj, and uh, me and Looney, we was we was real cool. You know what I'm saying. We decided, you know, to start bang, kind of like banging at the same time. We decided, you know, we was gonna be from the set and all that together. You know what I'm saying. We, just, you know, start getting older. Like, man, you know what we gonna, you know what we gonna bang from, homie. You already know. Shoot, man, we gonna bang from Fire Travelon. That's what we gonna. That's what we gonna bang from, huh? He was like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know, I, at the time I didn't have no family from the set. You know, at the time he did. He had, you know, what I'm saying cousins and aunts and all. You know, what I'm saying he got a big family. All of them, you know, from Avalon, most of them. And um, so of course, you know, his natural his natural step was to be from Avalon, and you know. With him talking about it being around all the time and you know of course my 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 natural step of progression was to be from avalon too and so that's what happened you know time goes on you know we come up we get put on the set and the first time i had met um my homeboy crazy ray was in the late 70s i was with looney and we had went over we had went over ray house Cause like i say you know they first cousins and um we went over Ray House. It was early, early in the morning. And uh, I never forget, man, the homie was in the living room eating some cereal out of a big old cake bowl with a big old giant spoon. And um, I remember seeing him. So, you know, we kind of looked at each other, you know, okay. He knew I was Roger. You know, he, he knew I was, I was Roger's partner, you know, the homie Looney. So, uh, boom. Time goes on, time goes on. 
I'm banging with, you know, with Looney and them crew. But they crew was kind of different for me. It really wasn't what I was looking for as far as the banging lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, his crew, they was banging, but they was more into money. They was more into getting money. Whereas, you know, I was more into, uh, you know, banging, 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 banging. You know what I'm saying? The fights, writing on the walls, you know, the, the whole hookup. You know what I'm saying? Getting into it. The whole, you know, the whole hookup. So, um, as time went on, I eventually split off from them and got with some of the other homies that was more along the lines of, you know what I'm saying, what I was about. And, um, went from there. I'll never forget one day when I was young, walking, walking through South Park, it was like me, the homie Knowles, Killer Stone, uh, Warlock, Crippin' Casper, a few of us, you know what I'm saying? We belling through South Park. And we see we see Looney and Looney and them Looney Connie, you know uh, who else who else was, uh, with that crew? Uh, Looney Connie Big Head, uh, Bone. Oh shoot, a few of the homies that they ran with on that you know they kind of clicked. And um, I remember one of the homies saying, "Dang, uh, call me by my real name." You know what I'm saying? You grew up together, you can say that. It's like, boy, you uh. You banging with them now, huh? I'm like, yeah, cuz, you know, we doing this and that. They were like, all right, all right, you know, left it at that. Time goes on, time goes on. You know, nobody ever expected for me and the homie Crazy Ray to get as close as we did. You know, at the time, you know, his name was Danny Boy. So, you know, you got, you know, Danny Boy and boom. Uh, and, you know, kicking it. So anyway, time went on. I, you know, out of nowhere, it just it just like was natural. Me and the homie just got cool. You know what I'm saying? We got we got real tight. We got real tight. And um, I was wild as a Taliban by this time. As the years as the years went on and I got older, I got wild as the Taliban, homie. And uh, the homie was already a stomp down killer. He's one of the coldest killers I ever met. You, you know, and it was like yin and yang with me and him. I was wild. I was the type of dude, you know, we driving down the street and we stop at a uh, street sign. I mean, at, 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 a, at a street light, just stop for the red light. If you're on the side of me and you look crazy or look like you bang, I'm finna hit you up immediately right then and there. And boom, then I might bust on you. You throw the wrong setup, I'm busting on you broad daylight. I don't give a dang about none of that fool. This Avalon and boom, boom, boom. Off the rip. Whereas Ray was the type if you pass words with him, he 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 was the type back then. He'd tell you, "All right, cuz, all right, don't trip, all right, cool." But now, within forty-eight hours, you'd be dead, and don't nobody know nothing about it. You know how, why, you know what? You feel what I'm saying? That's how the homie was a real life, you know what I'm saying, assassin, and he and he taught me a lot about being an assassin. He, you know, I, I you know I, I had to get up and go, but I, I had to temper it. You know what I'm saying? The homie taught me how to land, you know, land the cut on the dude. You know what I'm saying? Hide in the bushes for two, three hours and not make a sound. Don't move. You know what I'm saying? Catch a fool when he come home from the club, two, three in the morning, and he walking up the stairs, and all of a sudden, out the bushes, here it come. Say hi to the bad guy. Boom, boom, boom. You know, the homie taught me that. Uh, he was a real live ladies man, too. He kind of taught me how to be a ladies man. I learned a lot from the homie, man. I miss it, miss him bad. Yeah, man, look, and we was inseparable. Man, we was inseparable. Me and, when me and Cuz was together, if you was an enemy to Avalon, your set seen a bad day. Cause between me and him, we was uh we was gonna kick, we kicked the murder rate up. As simple as that. I ain't gonna put no names, dates on nothing. But me and the homie, we we uh we kicked the murder rate up, cause we was coming, homie. We was coming. It wasn't no, it wasn't no talking about it. It wasn't no none of that. We was coming, homie. Didn't give a dang. You seen him? You seen me? And cool thing about it, you know what I'm saying? 
we was one of the things we was known for was our hair. We had that real long hair, you know what I'm saying? Real long hair, you know, down here. We used to clown females coming through the store, or whatever, at the checkout counter, buying shoes and all that, man. We used to clown them females, you know what I'm saying? Because they had on weaves, wigs, or, or whatever they had on. And me and the homie was, you know, was, was yin yang them things, you know what I'm saying? On the natural. Yeah, that's real. And so, uh, it was just like, dang. So, um, time goes on. We used to play a game, whereas we would go throughout the day, and during the day, we would, um, skip, uh, uh, just out of nowhere, randomly, he, 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 he point, he'd point to a female, and like, cuz, you know, get her. And so the thing was, mm -hmm, I had to knock her, I had to get the number. And then, boom, turn around, it's my turn to pick out one for him. He had to knock her and get the number. You know, a lot of times he was hit, every now and then it was a miss. So uh, we would go throughout the whole day like that. And then at the end of the day, around nine, about, about nine o'clock at night, we would tally up, see who got the most phone numbers. Whoever had the most phone numbers went $100. So, boom, me and Cuz passed this same $100 bill back and forth. I don't know how many times, you feel what I'm saying? We pass it back, pass it back. He win some time, I win some time. Um, you know, like I say, the homie was real smooth. He, he, he was a ladies' man. He looked at like a black Japanese, for real, for real. And like a black Japanese. He was real dark skinned. had that long, long hair. You know what I'm saying? Had them tight eyes. And, um, you know, he was slim built. He was, you know, he just suave with it. So, uh, you know, a lot, you know, and, and he had a mouthpiece on him, and the, the ladies loved him. The lady loved the homie, man. He had a cold mouthpiece on him. I, it, it taught me how to get my mouthpiece game up. You know what I'm saying? Taught me how to get my mouthpiece game up to par. So, boom. Time going on, man. We doing everything. We catch case together, man. Go do our time together. You know what I'm saying? He might get out a little while before me. I might get out a little while before him. You know what I'm saying? However it went, you know what I'm saying? We was right back out there together, though, you know? So, um, we, like I say, man, we was brothers, man. We was brothers. My mother used to always ask him. My mother used to think he walked on water. She thought he was the sweetest thing because the homie dress code was different than mine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his family was originally from Detroit. So, you know, a lot, they had that kind of like Detroit dressing real tough kind of get out. And, um, me, I was just super banged out. You know what I'm saying? I was G'd up from head to toe every day, all day. Whereas the homie, you know what I'm saying? He might be, he might be in a car with a three-piece silk suit on with a blue rose in his pocket. And that was just his get out. You know what I'm saying? He was, the homie, you know what I'm saying, was, was silky smooth about what he did. He was silky smooth about his get out. And, um, man, moms used to be, we used to be leaving out the house sometimes. Moms used to be, man, uh, she used to tell him, Danny, I don't know why you, I don't know why you mess with that dang fool. Talking about me. I don't know why you mess with that dang fool. He gonna get you in trouble. She just didn't know. Me and my sisters, we would talk later on. He'd be like, man, mama just don't know about Ray, huh? I'm like, no, nah, you know, let him, you know, hey, don't you, we ain't got the wire up. She talk about, I'm gonna get him in trouble. Shoot, man, Ray get me in trouble. Hey, the homie was a cold piece. The first, the first time I ever went to a club was fooling with cuz. I really, I really wasn't in the clubs on me at all. You know what I'm saying? But the homie he'd go to clubs and ah, you know he, you know he'd go to clubs and do all type of stuff. So first time I ever went to a club, like a club, 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 like like get down like nightclub, get down with with cuz. And um, shoot, I was up in there. I wanted to rob somebody. He was like, no, nah, cuz we in there kicking it, homie. You know what I'm saying? Just. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy myself. Man. In my mind, I could like fool. I could be doing drive-bys or something. I don't know. You know, I used to trip when I was younger, man. So oh, man, excuse me. So anyway. You know, time going. We man, we used to do everything together though, homie. You know what I'm saying? Just was joined at the hip. His mama, his mama loved me. I loved her. My mama loved him. He loved her. I and mean, there wasn't nothing we wouldn't do for each other, you know? Um, we, uh, we have been in so much, man, look, it's just so much stuff, man, I, I would take a bullet for the homie, you know what I'm saying, 
I, you know, I remember one time we got bust on, and um, the only thing on my mind was diving on him, and not, and you know, getting him to the ground to make sure good no bullets hit him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I, that's all I care. I love my dog, homie. I love my brother, man. You know, and, and, and at the drop of a hat or drop of a dime, he would have did the same for me. And um, like I say, when I was real young, I remember one time though. One time, I remember one time. Um. I used to be a violent drunk when I was younger. I used to drink that old English 800 and man, whoop and jump on everybody standing around. Every, I mean, back in the day when homie see me start drinking, they used to get ghosts. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, the ones who wasn't just stomp down, stomp down. You know, I used to hear them too. They like, man, Tom get drunk, cuz man, we finna go, man. We finna get up out of here, man. You already know, yeah, I'm gonna start socking them fools out. You know, a couple of times they paid me back. I woke up the next day and I was beat the F up. They paid me back. You know what I'm saying? I used to get so drunk, homie, I'd pass out, piss on myself, wake up in alleys, wake up on people's porch and they grass, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't even know how I got there. You know what I'm saying? Just drink and pass out. That's one of the things that made me stop drinking, man. Well, when um I pulled a uh I pulled a gun on mom's when I was younger, man. And it's a long story, man. I didn't know what I was doing, um. I was drunk. And um that's what made me stop drinking right there. That's another story. I'll tell y'all about that. But anyway, man, I remember one time, um, they gave me, they tried to book me, they tried to book me for attempted murder on the police. You know what I'm saying? They allegedly said, um, I shot at the police with a, with a MAC-10. Or they said it was a they said it was a Mac 10 or a Uzi or some type of some type of machine gun. You know, they said. And um they said the reason why I allegedly supposed to have done it was because uh the police had um the G homie, Doc Rob, and you know, the homie Crazy Ray hemmed up with the cuffs on, pushing them around. And um, they said I was out there and went crazy because the police was roughing the homie Crazy Ray up. And everybody knew how me and Cuz was. Even the police knew. So they said that I allegedly, you know, come up <clears throat> with some type of machine gun or something and cut loose. And then they say I went on the run for it. They say I ran for a few months. And then they say uh, I had enough sense to get uh, caught out there in Orange County. You know what I'm saying? In, 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 you know, in another county. Because um, they was tripping. Now, I did get caught in uh, Orange County one time for some robberies. And the LA and the LA and the LAPD sheriffs came out there and told me, uh, yeah. The next day after I got caught, they told me, say, yeah, I was smart. Um I was smart not to get caught in LA in LA for the LAPD to catch me because they had an SOS on me. And for those who don't know in LA, they put an SOS on you. That's you know what I'm saying, that's a shoot on sight. That's how they used to get down. That's how the police used to get down. Shoot on sight. That mean they gonna kill you. They tired of you. They scared of you. They don't. They ain't can, finna keep fooling with you. They just finna smoke you. And they had me on that list, the shoot on sight list. Um, I remember they followed. Kick, you know, they kicked my mama dough in three, four, five times. Um, followed my mama all in church. All type of stuff. <clears throat> Looking for me for this so-called. <clears throat> alleged shooting of the police anyway but um which they said I, I supposed to had done all because the police put their hands on crazy Ray. um I had you know a lot of respect for my homie cuz a lot of respect you know what I'm saying half his family from villains he got some brothers from over there and that was one of the reasons why I used to, you know, the homies knew 
don't never mess with uh the dude baby not from villain you know r.i.p because the homie crazy ray was gonna trip that was his brother in fact that was one of his favorite brothers so anyway he never had to worry about me messing with not plus i've been knowing not since he was knee high to a pup you know um, man, we got we we got caught up in so much type of stuff. If y'all can remember my other story about when I started selling dope, when I got beat selling dope, if y'all can remember, I remember I told you I say that was Crazy Ray who came pick me up. You know what I'm saying? Took me to hit. That was his dope spot we was in. That was the homie there. Cause that was the homie there, man. I miss it, man. When I tell you we've been through so much, man. I remember in the county jail in the crib module. You know what I'm saying? We in the same tank. It, we was a, it was like six beds in there, but they put eight people in there. So the homie, you know what I'm saying? It, the homie didn't have no bed, or I didn't have no bed. You know, wasn't one there. What? Get away from me, cat sneezing. Get away from me sneezing. You know, you got cat corona or something. Get on up out of here. But anyway, so um, yeah, wasn't no sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Me and homie slept in the same bed. You know, his feet, his feet, in my face, my feet in his face. You know what I'm saying? It was a bunch of dudes in that got out like that. You know, that's homie love, cuz, you know, that type of love amongst each other, they don't have no more. These game bangers up today, they don't they don't love each other like that no more, homie. You know what I'm saying? They not they not no. They have a form of love for each other, but they kill each other in a heartbeat. They hurt each other in a heartbeat. See, we wasn't like that when I was coming up, homie. You know, we might fight and you know what I'm saying? Push each other around or something. But as far as just killing each other like that, hurting each other, no, nah, we didn't get down like that. It wasn't like that, homie. It, it wasn't like that, man. It, these youngsters of today, they ain't gonna never know what real homeboy love is, homie. You know that that it done played out. That's why you know I look at these youngsters. I look at them and you know I say I keep it swinging. I let them do what they do. I keep it swinging, homie, because they'll make you hurt them. You know, young homies don't like big homies. Big homies don't like young homies. And you know what I'm saying? That, that, them, them youngsters make you do something to them. Because them youngsters, they ain't sure do something to you. So, but anyway. Man, me and homie, we used to do so much, man. We used to put that work in together, too, boy. Me and cuz used to put that work in together. Whew, man, I can't. You know, it's a lot of it I can't speak on. Boy, y'all be talking about y'all want some stories. <laughs> Well, I, got, I got some stories that make the hair stand up on the back of your knuckles. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, cuz was with me. And we was doing that thing. But anyway, so um, I called a case. I called a case. I had a, called a case, 11 count, uh, no, 26 counts of robbery. And, um, you know, Stolen car, all type of stuff, all type of stuff. Make a long story short, I end up going back to the pen. I end up doing like uh, eight years, eight nine years on that case. But anyway, while I was gone, oh, you know, the homie Ray was was in when I caught the case. No, no, he was out when I caught the case. It just so happened it was this was one of them rare days. He wasn't with me when I caught the case. Rare. That, that was rare. So here it is. I'm going back to the pen. Anyway, so, you know, as time goes on, you know, the homie. He looking out for me the whole time I was in. You know, I'm talking about I'm getting letters. I'm getting mail. I'm getting money. You know what I'm saying? He doing, he doing his thing. He, he doing what a real brother's supposed to do. He doing what he's supposed to do. So it was cool. It was cool. Around 93 hit. 93, I was in, I was in the hole in Lancaster for for a ride. And so, around the end of 93 came, and I hadn't been getting no letters for a couple of months. I hadn't been getting no money for a couple of months, all that. So I was like, well, dang, your homie must be locked up. You know, cuz must be locked up. So, boom, I end up leaving, leaving the hole in Lancaster. And I end up going to Corcoran Shoe. From Corcoran Shoe, they transfer me back to Pelican Bay Shoe. So, um, 
when I when I when I get when I hit when I get the Pelican Bay shoe, I do my little shoe turn. So when I do my little shoe turn, it's like the end of '94 going into '95. So when I when I get out, boom. Y'all know how it is in Pelican Bay when you get out. A lot of times they gonna put you in like one eight block. Eight block was like like the uh, like the block they put you in to get you used to being around people again and and all that old stuff where they put you, you know, behind the other gates, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you know, all that. So, um, the first chance I get to get on the phone, like I say, now I hadn't heard from Ray in a minute. You know, no, no shape, form, or fashion. Ain't nobody wrote me saying, told me nothing, you know, the homie, whatever. So anyway, when I get out, I rush to the phone. When I rush to the phone, I call, boom, I call one of the homegirls. I ain't gonna put her name out there. So I'm like, dang, cuz, what's up? What's up? She like, oh, what's up, big homie? Da -da 